In this section, we'll see an example of continue block. So the problem statement uh, we are going to use here is we have to input two integers n and x and then print all the first n numbers from 1 to n except the numbers that are divisible from x. So as an sample run, we can say, for example, if n is 10 and x is 3, the output should print 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 10. So all the multiples of 3 within the range 1 to 10 are not printed. That is like 3, 6 and 9 are not getting printed. So let's start by taking the input, uh, the two integers. Let's initialize the two integers n and x. Uh, let's take input n and then x. So like another way of taking this input will be in uh, taking the input separately c in n and then c in x but here i have written both of them in a single line uh, next what we'll do is let's write the code to print the first n numbers and then we'll develop on top we'll write the code on top of it for the condition check for divisibility so let's write a for loop so for initialization let's say a loop variable i starts from one and it runs till n and plus plus i or i plus plus then uh, let's write the loop body which is c out i so this is just going to print first n numbers and the same code that we, we have written in the previous sections when we talked about loops now the other thing that comes here is that we have to exclude all the numbers that are divisible by x so here what we'll do is we'll use continue so we'll write a condition if i is divisible by x uh, if it is divisible then the remainder will be zero then what you'll do is you'll continue so you skip this c out statement and uh, the control will go back to for loop so let's try to uh, run it so the value of let's say n is 10 and x is 3 like in sample run so the output is correct in this case we have 1 2 3 is skipped 4 5 6 is skipped and 7 8 9 is skipped uh, you might be wondering that uh, why we are using continue another way will be to just add c out within this if statement and have a negation operator where which says or something like if i modulus x is not equals to zero then print it it's very true we can use it like that only so all the continue statements continue block like wherever you whatever use cases where we are using continue can be remodeled as an if statement but uh, it's just a cleaner way to write the code you'll understand it as you continue writing the code so that's how you use continue that's all for this video